do a full face of mineral makeup. You guys are always telling me to try out mineral makeup on my acne prone and textured skin because it's supposed to not be comedogenic and cause additional breakouts. So I actually have a bunch of products from Jane Iredell today from face products, the new concealer to some new lippies as well. I did get these in PR, but this video is not sponsored. So we're going to be trying this all out today. First impression style. First up, we have the Hydro Pure color correcting a serum this has hyaluronic acid and q10 it's supposed to be a green tinted like primer look at this how cool is that yeah so it does have a green color for sure oh my gosh look at that okay let's just blend it out and see what happens okay it's blending nicely that swatching us did scare me a little bit you definitely do have to work it into the skin, but I do feel like that neutralized my redness a little bit. What do you guys think? All right, next up, we have the dry sunscreen. This is the Powder Me SPF in the shade Nude. It's an SPF 30 broad spectrum. This is so cool. There's a brush that you like lock. Next up, we have the new concealer from Jane Iredell. And look at this PR box, guys. It says match and more, and it's literally a little matchbox. How cute. And then these are the concealer shades, but they literally look like a box matches. This is like the cutest pair box ever. And I love that it's so small and just like houses the product because I always get these huge pair boxes and it's like, they're so wasteful. So we have some different shades that they sent out here. So this is supposed to be my perfect match. I see what they did there in the shade 4N. Okay, that is literally, I think, going to be perfect. I'm going to kind of use this as my foundation slash concealer today. It's like a small applicator. I'm used to like bigger ones, but this one seems nice. I'm going to just conceal where I usually do with this. I'm taking my favorite brush. This one's from It Cosmetics. I'm blending this out. Oh, it's blending out really nicely. I'm always like scared when I use concealers as like just my only product without a foundation but this is kind of blending out pretty effortlessly. It did send over two more shades to define and brighten. This is in the shade 9W so I'm going to use this kind of to contour today. I usually go like with a bit of a darker concealer to do this step just to add like more warmth to the face with this. I do see that their shade range does go pretty dark if this is the actual concealer, so that is really good to see. I probably could have used like a shade or two darker for my contour. And then we're gonna take the shade 2N. This one is really, really light. And like, I'm already pretty fair, so it's really nice that they have this wide of a shade range. And I'm just gonna use this to highlight the face just a little bit. Oh, I messed up this powder sunscreen so bad. Look at this. Okay, I need to find a way to scoop this into my hand. Guys, that got everywhere. Okay, so I got it. You just have to like really push it in there. And then let's get some product out. There we go. Just apply it on. So I'm kind of using this to mattify the face. Like I wouldn't really use this product as my like sole SPF because I do think you need more SPF than like what can come out of this powder and you need to be applying more of that to the face and neck but this is a great way to touch up your makeup I think you guys ask me all the time how can I touch up my SPF throughout the day if I'm wearing makeup to reapply something like this is a great way to do that all right so the next product we have is the lip and cheek stain this is in the shade forever pink oh okay so I thought it was gonna be like a liquid but it's literally like a balm do we just like apply it like this? Oh, it literally looks like a lip balm. I feel like I'm applying lip balm to my cheek, but I will say that color is really pretty. It has like a lip balm texture to it, so you could definitely use this as like a little bit of a tinted lip balm. Throw some on the cheeks as well. That's All right, and the last parts we have to try, Color Lux Hydrating Cream Lipsticks. We have five shades in these. What's the What's the vibe I want to go for tonight? I'm thinking like candy apple, maybe? Not too red, maybe. Bordeaux. I'll try it with a little lip liner. Oh, that is creamy, creamy, creamy. Maybe I didn't need a lip liner, but. I really want to try 
the shade Mangolia because this is like right up my alley of lipsticks. Like this is my go-to type color. So let's pop that in the center. Oh yes. These are an amazing formula. Like so hydrating, so lightweight feeling, very pigmented. Definitely need a liner with these, but I really like these. What do you guys think? And these are the products I had from Jane Iredale to try today. Let me know what you guys think of these on my skin, but let's take a quick look at it in some different lighting. Here's the makeup away from the ring light, just so you can see that texture pop up a bit more. I will say the makeup is sitting really lightly on the skin. And here is the makeup in some good old bathroom lighting. I think this just gives a realistic look of it on the skin. But I love this. Let me know what you guys think. And remember, tell yourself something you love about your skin today. And go to my podcast, Loud Talk with Lavi, where we break down the walls of beauty standards one flat at a time. Love you. Bye.